welcome to my channel or welcome back if you saw my other video. My name is Camille and today I wanted to talk about Bonnaroo. Uh, I have been to Bonnaroo one time. I went last year 2018 and I'm also going this year so I'm super excited for it. The lineup just came out a couple of days ago and I think it seems like it's going to be pretty pretty good shows. So I just kind of wanted to talk about some tips and tricks that I have learned from going to Bonnaroo and my own experiences and then also that I've learned from other people just kind of reading things on Pinterest and that other people have told me that I met at Bonnaroo or other friends that I have that have gone to Bonnaroo. So the first one that I wanted to talk about and I think it's kind of obvious but when you're there and you just get caught up in the experience you don't necessarily think about it all the time and it is to stay hydrated. It is super hot. It's in the middle of June this year. It's usually in June but it's towards the middle of June this year and it's in Tennessee so it's hot. It's hot and it's sunny and you're outside all of the time and so staying hydrated is really really important. You need to make sure that you're drinking more water than you normally do for sure and I think that if you feel like you aren't or you won't necessarily rem remember to drink enough water, I would recommend bringing Pedialyte or Gatorade or something that will keep your electrolytes up. And Pedialyte, I know a lot of people use for like hangovers, so I think it would be something if you are over 21 and plan to drink that could come in handy for that as well. And my second tip would be to wake up early. When I went, it was like hot by the time it was like 7 a.m. So I pretty much woke up at like 7 a.m. every day just because it was so hot that I could not sleep. So I do think that waking up early is inevitable unless you have a way to keep your tent or wherever it is that you're going to be sleeping if you are camping um, cool enough all night. Although it does get pretty cold at night but then very early it gets hot. So I think that Waking up early will probably happen anyway, but it also allows you to get up and go and shower before some of the other people will be doing that. And the lines can get pretty long if you do want to shower or if you do want to go to the bathrooms, which are normally a pretty good walk from most people's campsites depending on where you are, what time you come in. So I would definitely recommend to wake up uh, as early as you can and to go and get the shower done so you don't have to wait in line, brush your teeth, all that type of stuff to go to the bathrooms. They have like happy hour, happy hour for the showers and it's usually like the afternoon when most people are going to be in Center Rue which is where they have all of the shows. Uh, so most people don't take advantage of that one but then there's another one that's like really late at night like starting it from like 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. or something like that the hours might be a little bit different but then I think the showers are like maybe half off I think they're normally like ten dollars or seven dollars something like that and then I think they're like five dollars during um, the happy hour times so if you want to take advantage of that I would definitely recommend to and my third tip would be to bring a refillable water bottle um, definitely you'll want water bottles around camp but also bringing it into center room and if you've been to Bonnaroo before, you know what Center Roo is. And if you're going this year or any year, I'm sure it'll remain the same. But Center Roo is just kind of like the the main area away from the camping sites. You walk there, um, depending on how far it's it's maybe like a 15 to 20 minute walk, or at least it was for me. And so that's just where all of the stages are, all of the food, the the vendors, all of that type of stuff. So I would definitely recommend to bring a water bottle there. They have like big water water stations where you can fill up. And I'm sure you can buy water bottles, but if you can bring like, you know, just any reusable water bottle that you have would always be helpful and then you don't have to spend money on water or spend money buying a water bottle. My fourth one is actually before you get to Bonnaroo is to fill up your gas tank if you're responsible for driving before you get to Manchester before you get to like the actual Bonnaroo spot because the lines will be very long pretty much no matter when you're showing up um, especially if it's if you're showing up like Thursday evening or Friday during the day because that's when most people get there the lines will be very long I mean they stop everybody and check their cars and there are 
thousands, gosh, I don't even know how many people go to Barn Rouge, but there are thousands of people that are all trying to get there. So you don't want to run out of gas in that line waiting to get into Barn Rouge. That would be really not good. I don't even know what you would do in that situation. So just make sure that you have enough gas before you get to Manchester to wait for possibly hours in the line before you get parked and get your camp set up. This tip would to be to bring things to entertain yourself during downtime. Because most of the shows don't start until noon, you're going to be hanging out at your camp probably longer than you would expect to. And so I would definitely bring things that you can do. If you're going with a big group of people, it would be great to bring games. I mean, bring board games, cards, things that you can do with everybody that you're going with. And then also you could bring, you know, books if you have like a summer assignment that you need to do for school if you're in college like I am or if you're even if you're in high school you could bring that to work on definitely just have something that you can do for the three days three and a half days that you're gonna be there that you won't get bored of I mean there's a lot of downtime you wake up pretty early and then you have hours before most people go in to center Rue, so definitely have things that can occupy your time before then my uh, sixth tip is to bring portable chargers um, mostly for your phones make sure that they are completely charged when you get there because you will use a lot of battery um, you know you'll be taking pictures videos f throughout all of the whole day I'm sure most people want to document those memories so definitely make sure that you have not only portable chargers while you're at camp if you need it, if you don't have a way to charge your phone otherwise, but also bring it into center room so because you definitely do not want your phone to die before you're about to see Post Malone or whoever it is that you're super excited to see and then you can't take any pictures or any recordings and then also if your phone dies and you can't contact any of your other group members then you're definitely in not good shape. I have one from Urban Outfitters. I actually bought it a while ago. Um, it's pretty small and it doesn't keep a whole lot of charge to it, but it's definitely small enough to put in your pocket. It's pretty slim and um, if, I find, if, I, if they still sell it on Urban, I'll try and link it below, but I'm not sure. I got it years ago, so they might not sell it anymore. I'll try and link some cheaper ones on, that I can find on Amazon. I'm sure they have plenty of choices on, on Amazon. Or you could probably get some at, you know, Walmart or Target or any of those places as well. My next one is to bring a recognizable flag or some people brought, brought balloons, like inflatable balloons that would actually float above their camp. But definitely have something to be able to recognize your camp from far away. This we, we did not do. We did not even think about it. Um, but a lot of the campsites around us had different flags or balloons or things that were hanging up because it's a pretty long walk and you there's not really a way to mark where you are um, where your camp is from everywhere else and everybody's really close so it's good to have something that is not necessarily like the US flag because I'm sure there could be a lot of people that have that but something that's distinguishable from everybody else like I know some people had like a Colorado flag that's probably where they were from or they had like somebody had a Finding Nemo balloon something that is easily recognizable that you could you know tie to a pole at camp or put on your car or something like that so you can recognize where your camp is you know it's easy to find from when, for when you're walking back especially in the dark it can be really hard to find if you're walking back at night from all of the shows so I think we'll definitely do that this year. So my next tip, number eight, is to bring some sort of shade for your ca campsite. Um, it is definitely important to have shade while you are there because it will get sunny early in the morning and you'll be there for a while. And sitting in your tent, normally, depending on if you have some way to cool it down or not, that's not the best thing to do because, our, I mean, our tent was just kind of like, you know, a sauna. It would just get so hot because the sun would just bake it. So definitely make sure that you have like some type of canopy or um, a way like um, on my dad's tent. It just kind of came out from his uh, tent and it kind of gave us a little bit of shade, but there was four of us and so we were all had to sit pretty close and we didn't really think about it for some reason. We didn't think about it that hard before. So definitely make sure that you have some way to have shade at camp. 
And then number nine is to bring a water sprayer or a fan, um, like a battery powered fan, or you can bring one of those ones that plugs into like the the little charging area on your phone and then it just, that's how it's powered. Uh, I think that would be very helpful because it is, it is very hot and you will want to cool down um, at the shows, during the shows, or even just walking around. And that's pretty compact and easy to have and it'll help you stay cool. And spray your bottle if you just have like some water in it or something. I know they have like fans that also spray water. So if that's something that you're like okay to carry, then I would definitely recommend having one of those. And number 10 is to bring earplugs. Or if you're willing to waste battery on your phone to listen to music, bring headphones. The shows go on until very early in the morning, so I would definitely recommend earplugs if you want to sleep during that time because, the, I mean, it's loud. You're close to where the music is playing, so it will be loud. And sometimes, if you're a light sleeper like I am, it can be hard. To, it can be hard to fall asleep and stay asleep. Sorry, I'm like wearing pajamas. I promise I didn't wear this. This is my second day of school. I did not wear this combo to school. I just put on some pajama pants to be more comfortable in my dorm. That's why this is a different background, by the way. This is probably what, gonna, what my background is going to be for a while now because I'm back at school. Today was my second day of classes. So anyway, number 11 next is to bring foldable chairs. Bringing just like if you ever played sports and like I, when I played soccer, we had foldable chairs that we would set up on the sidelines. I think they're you know, just regular camping chairs, and they fold up and get, be pretty compact in your car. So however many people you're bringing, I would definitely bring one for everybody because you don't want to be sitting in your tent or standing all the time, and those are pretty easy to bring and definitely very handy. And number 12. So it's going to be very hot during the day, pretty obvious. Um, it's the middle of the summer. But it will get pretty cold at night, uh, so definitely make sure that, yes, you have clothes that are appropriate for the hot sun and, and the humidity, but also bring clothes that you might not think that you need for the nighttime when you're trying to sleep. You know, just bring like a hoodie and some sweatpants or something that you're comfortable sleeping in that will keep you warmer during the nighttime. And maybe that you can take off easily because when you wake up it'll probably be hot, so something that you can still take off throughout the night if you do get too hot towards earlier in the morning. This one is to bring rain gear. When we went this last year in 2018, it rained the, I think it was either Saturday or Sunday, I don't really know, but it rained in the morning. And so if you don't have umbrellas or like a canopy that can have shade that you can stay under and things to keep your, I mean, you know, your clothes dry, your tent dry, all of those types of things. Probably bring towels in case things still do get wet. Um, bring raincoats for yourself if you're going to Center Roo and it's still raining. For us, it was only raining while we were at camp, which is definitely a good thing, but we still had to stay under our little shelter area to stay dry, so make sure that you're prepared for possible rain. And number 14 is to bring flashlights. Uh, you probably will be walking back to your camp in the dark and sometimes your phone could die and you don't have the flashlight on your phone or it's not good enough. So definitely bring flashlights if you're looking for stuff around camp when it's dark, if you're wanting to eat and it's dark, or if you're wanting to read and it's dark, you'll need flashlights. So I would definitely make sure that you have flashlights that have full battery and that aren't wimpy little ones, bring good ones that you could even, you could have like even, even the ones that are kind of like a lantern that you could just set up around camp because it will get, I mean it gets dark late because it's the summer but it'll still, you'll probably still be awake when it's dark so definitely be prepared for that. Next tip is to bring healthy and sustaining food. Um, you will expel a lot of energy, you'll be walking a lot, it's going to be hot and you want to have good fuel in your body. I would definitely recommend eating breakfast and eating before you get into Center Roo. There are a lot of places to eat in Center Roo, but it's pretty expensive. I mean, it's, it's you know, it's a, it's a good amount of money and you probably don't want to be spending money for every single meal while you're in there. There's actually a place, I think it's, it's called Jesus Tent or something. I'm not totally sure, but there is a tent that has like 
in the mornings they have coffee and free breakfast and stuff and I would definitely recommend going to that but um, if you don't want to walk from there from your camp if you just want to have food make sure that you have things that are full of protein and things that can last you a long time so that you aren't feeling weak you don't want to get dizzy or sick or anything you want to have energy the entire time you want to be able to dance through every set that you see and number 16 you bring bug spray that still doesn't work if they still bite you I know I have a bunch of bites on my legs from just like walking through the grass make sure that you have um, anti-itch cream as well if that is something that you might end up needing better safe than sorry just in case and then number 17 bring sunscreen because you do not want to get sunburnt if you're sunburnt one of the the first couple days and then you're uncomfortable bring sunscreen and then also on top of that bring cooling sunscreen if you have one that's like a spray or I know that there are like actual cooling sunscreens um, those are definitely will come in handy because it's hot and so it's kind of a dual action where it'll protect you from the sun and it'll also cool you down so that's uh, something that will really come in handy and it's definitely a good thing to put on your packing list and number 18 is to bring hand sanitizer or alcohol wipes um, there are porta potties everywhere that's pretty much I mean, they have, in Center Roo, they have, like, actual bathrooms, but they're still not going to be super clean, and there's still a lot of people, a lot of germs everywhere, so uh, you might not be able to wash your hands as often as you want, so bring hand sanitizer um, to, if you're going to the porta potties or even if you just are about to eat. You know, you can just bring a small one. I'm sure it'll be, it'll be easy to carry around. So number 18, if you want to know more songs beforehand or if you want to be uh, familiar with more of the artists that are going to be at Bonnaroo, I recommend to make a playlist of the Bonnaroo artists. The lineup is out now. Uh, there's, you know, going to be Post Malone, Fish, the band PH Fish, uh, Childish Gambino, Cardi B, the Lumineers. I mean, there's, you know, there's plenty of artists that I'm sure not everybody knows all of them. So if you want to be more familiar, then you can make a playlist. I actually already have a playlist um, on my Spotify. I'll link my Spotify down below. It's kind of a work in progress. I don't have a whole lot of songs or all of the artists on it yet. But if you want to follow my playlist and listen to that one, I'll link it down below. Or you can make your own for the artists that you want to get to know more. Um, and I think Bonnaroo on Spotify. Spotify is what I use, so I don't know if uh, you use Apple Music. I don't know if they have one on there. But Spotify has a playlist that was actually created by, like, Bonnaroo staff. And I'm sure that you could find that pretty easily on Spotify if you just look up Bonnaroo 2019. But I'll have my link down below as well if you want to listen to that. My last and probably most important tip is to plan ahead. Um, you want to be prepared when you get to Bonnaroo. You want to have everything that you could possibly need days, weeks, or even months ahead of time know that you are ordering the tents that you need or that you have the tents that you need you are have all of the clothing that you want to wear it's definitely easier to plan out your outfits ahead of time so make like a packing list I think that's definitely a good way to make sure that you have everything that you need and just be prepared be prepared be prepared if any of you all are going to be going to Bonnaroo 2019 comment down below and let me know and I hope that if you are, you have a really great time. And of course, all of these tips can be used at any music festival, not just bon Bonnaroo. So if you're going to Coachella or Lollapalooza or any of those other uh, festivals, then all of these tips can be used for those as well. But I'm personally, I'm going to Bonnaroo. That's the music festival that I have been to and I'm going to. So I just kind of want to direct direct these towards Bonnaroo. I hope that some of these tips have helped you. Maybe they were something that you didn't think about, so I hope that they make your time even more enjoyable, and I will see you all in my next video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and have a great weekend. Bye-bye.